life, Street Stars. We're here with Body the Motherfucking Beast. What is it, brother? What's good? What's good? Man, for everybody that don't know, deaf, dumb, stupid, living up under a rock, man, tell these niggas where you from. All right. Well, you already know, Body the Beast. Uh, every beauty need a beast. <laughs> from Dallas, Oak Cliff. Um, I ain't just saying it just to be saying it because it's cool. Really from there. Yeah, man. Uh, been around the world, seen a lot of girls. Yeah, man. And been making this music, man. Been doing my thing. Hey, we gonna get to that shit. We gonna <laughs> yeah. get, man, I'm gonna tell you, man. You and Rose get on this motherfucking uh, on this motherfucking IG live, bro. Yeah, y'all, live. that shit be cracking me the fuck up. And if he want a dentist, that should be worse than Boosie's. Man, bro, y'all niggas need. I swear, y'all need like a little segment, brother, because y'all be killing me, man. Y'all just be on that bitch stripped out. Hey. You know, how bad do you think it'll be? <laughs> he said, we, yeah. we got to protect the brand, so we can get it. He said, if we want a dentist, this shit might be worse than. Oh, yeah, because, like, you know what I'm saying? With all the females that be on his, that be on the TV, then the ones that be on mine, <laughs> just that I even just know, period. And then, like, you know, we know a lot of fun people, so. There you go. Now, yeah. the name Body the Beast, man, for those sitting at home, man, as far as, you know, a lot of cats get in this game and, you know, they look for that uniqueness in the name. Mm -hmm. How did you come across and land on Body the Beast? All right, so it's crazy. I heard it one time, but the person name wasn't Body, and uh, and it kind of stuck with me. I'm talking this way back in high school, and yeah. then um, Body is really my name. Yeah. People don't know that. I really don't even know why I just said that. I shouldn't have just said that. <laughs> but yeah, it's really my name, my 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 nickname already was yeah. Body. It was already my name in college. I mean, in high school when I hoop, I hoop. Yeah. And, you know, you dunk a nigga, you catch a body. Then a lot of people don't know. I went to Ohio, got caught up in a murder case, beat that body. So it's like, oh yeah, body is gonna be it. Mm. And then the beast is like, I really got it from like, if, I feel like everything I do, I beast it. Like if you if yeah. you ever ask anybody that know me, they gonna tell you like, if I do something, I say my mind. If you tell me I can't, I'm gonna do it. That's from hooping, rapping, in the streets, anything. Which one do you feel? you have more passion in when it came to hooping or rapping? Well, I always did the two. That's why I still do it now. Like, if any rapper want to play me for some money, I'm taking it. The reason I ask is because we had, uh, who from the Cowboys was in here? Um, uh, Rico, Re uh, yeah, Rico Gathers. Uh -huh. And we asked him as far as, you know, playing for the Cowboys or rapping, if you was to go with one or the other. And, you know, he said his passion definitely was rapping. It was not playing no football, but, mm -hmm. you know, he was with the Cowboys. So I mean, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Niggas still want to win in the end, yeah. but like, if you have to lean towards one or the other, like, like the NBA or being the hottest, like rapper. if you was like, yeah, like if the Mavericks is like, oh, it 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 be NBA, to be honest with you. That's I'd rather be, uh, shit, I'd rather be LeBron James than LeBaby right now. That, I I feel that a thousand and ten percent. Yeah, goddamn. but I, you know, I respect both, but like, yeah, definitely NBA. That's real. Now. I, you know, we got you here, and that's funny because, you know, we've been meaning to get you in here. Um, you know, you've been part of the rise of the DFW music scene. You've been in the mix during the whole time as far as, you know, the rise of the Yellow Beezies, the Trash, the Mo 3s, and mm -hmm. Go Yayos. You've always been right there in the mix working with the same producers, the same videographers, and everything of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the DFW music scene right now as it is today from where it used to be, let's say, when you first started, uh, what are your thoughts as far as on the scene itself for the Dallas – Fort Worth music scene. I feel like it's finally at a point where like, where everybody been complaining about for years and they're like, yeah. oh, nobody fuck with Dallas or we not on the map. And it's like, now people looking for it. Only thing I hate about it now is we ain't really giving them nothing to look for. Mm. So like, it's either everybody from Fort Worth sound like they from Fort Worth. And then when you get the few people who sound different, they stick out. And then everybody from Dallas sound like everybody from Dallas. And then when you finally get something different, they stick out. Like. If you would like to see some something like change in the culture, doesn't have to even be music, just something change in the city. What would you like to have something here, DFW, that you would think could help out the city just a little more? Oh, the togetherness. That one thing that ain't gonna happen. Like if everybody, I mean, you just see it. Just look at it. Look how beefed out Fort Worth is, and it's this big, and they they so beefed out. <laughs> look how beefed out Dallas is with some people who really making noise. But you know, it's it, you, it's crazy you say that though, because I see more unity. Like you and Rose are cool, and that's mm -hmm. like. It, 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 it seems. But how many, how many are like that? And if you do see the unity, how long do it stay? Right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they get together for a little bit, but somebody got a motive. It ain't never like genuine. Like, if you, like, this is what I hate. And it's like, it's so much talent here, and everybody be saying it, but look, like, like even, the, like, even, 
even with what y'all do, y'all real life productions, y'all get a lot of interviews in, a lot of people come record here. Then you got Legacy in downtown, get a lot of people come record there. Then you got G5 Studios do that. But imagine if it was like, if y'all all could come and make this one big, ad, like, what's that name? Cole Bennett Studio. Yeah, right. <laughs> that man, that one studio, that one lyrical lemonade is worth so much money. You know what I'm saying? Worth so much money because, I mean, he ain't really had no competition, but I'm saying, like, we were to spread it out, then come together. Like, show this plug or show this. It's funny because, you know, we actually work with all those studios. You know, our mm -hmm. engineers work there. We send people over there. Mm -hmm. But you're right, just the outlook, it looks like we don't work with it. And that's a lot of things, mm -hmm. even with the music. It looks but like, like a lot nah, of people don't work But it's how I know it don't, because I ain't never been where, like, say, like, if, uh, uh, who? Little Baby come down here, and he, and he I'm hanging with him, and he be like, well, what studio shall I record at? I can't facts. call that's one facts. of them other studios, and they be like, nah, you know what? Get this one to real life. Yeah, that's Hell facts. nah, they, they gonna, gonna try to make something yeah. work. <laughs> or they ain't gonna say, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Session, studio closed. <laughs> yeah, but like when you go to Atlanta, like this, 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 like, this is why I feel like we losing. Like everybody feel like Atlanta just so talented, but it ain't even that, they really stick together. Cause I went, when I went to Atlanta, if a DJ played 50 songs throughout the night, 47 of them is an Atlanta song, even ones that ain't on the radio. Like I was shazamming like, damn, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this underground, it's underground Atlanta. Like you could be in the, the number one spot that we think number one, like Magic City or Allure or whatever club is popping. You can go to Gold Room, it's gonna be 47. Like they might play the number one song in America if it's the baby or somebody, but nine times 10, they going right back to Atlanta. And I'm talking about like even the people we don't think big, they big in Atlanta. So who would you blame that on as far as if there was someone to take some kind of criticism towards that? Is it the DJs? It, are there gatekeepers that keep they some say music? From I, social media, they yeah. rank the gatekeepers. So yeah, I yeah. would say the gatekeepers. And then the reason it's the gatekeepers is because I ain't gonna say it don't take money, it's gonna take money. But like, it's like, that's all they want. And they only do it to how far the money go. It's never no mm. genuineness in it. In Atlanta, it's like, hey, I know if you make it, Atlanta's still alone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, we're gonna get the money. You gotta, you gotta look out for the DJs and everything. But in Atlanta, I feel like it's money, but it's also like, you get on, we on. Another Atlanta artist broke, another DJ breaking, another whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I be trying to get, even when I talk to DJ, like I ain't got no, no set DJ, right? And I'm like, but if I make it, and I know I'm putting the money into it, I'm putting the visuals into it, I know I'm making the right moves, and I know I'm right here, right? And I'm like, bro, if I had a number one song in America, bro, we could put it on. Niggas like, if they don't believe, they don't believe. So they like, yeah, that's cool, but just give me the money. You know what I'm saying? And once the money run up, it ain't no genius in it. Like it's enough. It's enough pool in the city to where we can make a nigga hot. You can make, bro. I was just talking about that with the last dude who came through here. That it's crazy that Dallas hasn't made. You know, it took it. Well, it seems like the outside sources they have to go elsewhere to get money. But I'm like, there's mm -hmm. enough money in the city to make someone hot. Like yeah. you could book someone, pay that man the show just to get him hot. Play him on the radio, get him hot. Bro, this is this no cap, and they can tell you they here with me. Like, uh, no bullshit. I'm in Dallas, right? Everybody know me. Yeah. Everybody done seen me or seen something I'm doing. Right. Like, because I'll be there and they be like, bro, I see you. I know you. I done had even bigger rappers see what I'm doing. They right. ain't never spoke on it. Free post, free shirt. Nah, because if I get hot, Mike could drown them out. That's how they look at it. Mm -hmm. Versus another nigga hot can keep you relevant. That's what they don't know. That's how Atlanta's so high. It's like if Thug ever drown off, but he built Lil' Keita, Lil' Keita bring him back up. Yeah. If he ever drown off, Gunna gonna bring him back up with that feature. If Gucci can't lose because everybody in Atlanta fuck with Gucci, so Gucci still staying relevant. He ain't the same 09 Gucci, but he still on get the bag and phone. He can call the Migos. He can call a little baby. And his old label gonna get them verses because they stick together. That's facts. Do you feel that we're in a culture shift now to get more towards that? Or do you, you Dallas, see it anytime soon? I don't soon? see it ever happening in Dallas because who gonna break it? It's like every time a nigga get up there to break it, ain't gonna break it. Like, you know what they do? They get big and then they leave. Like, like, I mean, you know, he probably would do it now, but when DeRoe had the number one, I ain't see too many features, you know what I'm saying? And then not to mention some people be on situations where they can't even have that much self-control. But the ones who got self-control, who can control their whole thing, I don't see the love. Maybe give it to like, they people they fuck with, but that might be not be the person you need to give it to. But like, um, when you go to Atlanta, like I say, they do that. And like here, it's just all money and politics. And it's like, it's why I say this was no bullshit. I swear to God, I be getting DMs from Canada, and I be getting DMs from like North Carolina and Jacksonville, Florida to get booked. Features and everything. You, and if I tell people that they won't even believe it because I ain't got a million views. I got 100,000 on one. I got 50,000. I got streams, my streaming, but it's like, I ain't super big. But to them, I'm big. But to her, that's just body. As far as music goes. Now, if there's anything else I do, they all want to get up in that business. Now, um, 
you have some of the craziest visuals, man. Your visuals are always fire, always super creative. I appreciate it. I direct. Yeah, I, man, videos. I see it. Yeah, you be very involved in your shit, and it's always crazy. What's your favorite visual you think you got right now? All right. I know the people's favorite is Who Next with Cincy Molly with all them girls. That was the funniest video. And I ain't gonna lie, that video wasn't even the funniest. Cause we shot that through when COVID, when COVID was hot, like when they was like, nah. So when I booked the Airbnb, we got kicked out the Airbnb because uh, too many cars, too many people, and they called the police and everything. And shout out to the girls that stayed through. We had to drive 40 minutes to the mansion and to still get it to go. You know what I'm saying? And then they still came through. So it really was way more girls than that. Damn. And yeah, it was lit though. How, how do them video shoots be, man? When the camera ain't rolling? Oh shit! However it's gonna be, however the liquor <laughs> loose off the goose. However it's the like li wherever the liquor floats. Yeah. So what I try to do is like I try to make sure it's a vibe. I don't want you just come here and be a robot and do this and that. So once everybody comfortable and they cool, I don't yeah. smoke a drink, but I have it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And then I have it for them, so everybody just getting their good vibe. So it's like all my videos turn to like a party or a chill session. So it's like you you. You know, for the models, they at work, but they really having a good time. Nice and friend. then we have a good time, and then we make a good a good video. Now, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I was, you know, I was quarantined down. Then I wanted to go out, scared of COVID. Fuck clubs, fuck getting out, whatever the fuck. Then you dropped the quarantine video, man. Immediately, I was like, that was the first video I seen. Uh, I think Mo3 had did something based on the COVID or something, but your video was the one that made me like, I gotta get the fuck up out of this. <laughs> I gotta get up out the house, goddamn. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, goddamn, man. Yeah. Man, I, I do want to ask you as far as just your creativity, man, and the production you put into just your videos, videos and stuff. Mm. For the simple artists at home, that's like, I want to get into this game. They're young. They don't know as far as the ins and outs. How much would you say you spend? I would say, let's say yearly, on this jug, this career. Six figures. Man. Hear so that? I will even tell them to get into it. Y'all hear that? <laughs> that's why. That's why. Honestly, I don't be mad at the young people for signing them crazy ass deals. Cause like, how else they gonna make it? Nah, for real. That's nobody when understand. When you from the bottom, bottom, and they throw any kind of and numbers you in your face, you ain't got it. Yeah. I mean, come on. It ain't even just enough. It's just like, how else they gonna make it? It take money to make it. I it can't. Ain't nobody made it with no money. Like they try to put Lil Nas X put his last four dollars on a meme and it went viral. It's still too nah. many for him to make the number one song. I learned it when I was when I was watching the No Limit documentary. Mm. And you know, I always thought P had made it like through some kind of through the drug game or something and just mm -hmm. saved up. And then I seen him, he was talking about I was walking my my great uncle or my great grandfather and then he died. Or no, he And they uh, had a lawsuit, yeah, lawsuit from the hospital. And then therefore that's what started No Limit Records. Started the re and yeah. I'm like, there's always some kind of uh that yeah. gets it going. It, it, you know? it take that and it's and what's scary is it always take a death sometimes. Well, yeah, like the baby uncle. was the number one dude after he killed somebody and beat the case. Young boy jumping the game, he fighting a murder and he beat it. Snoop and kill somebody and beat it. Jay Z, all the greats and had one of those, you know, situations. Kanye take off after his mama died. Megan blow up number one song after her mama died. We ain't gonna get into that. I don't even want to yeah, put yeah, that on there. Yeah. But I'm just saying, <laughs> it takes something like it's like that's what the rap game is. It's like it's entertainment, so I understand it. But it's like you gotta down there risk your life and your freedom to make it. And that's why I say I rather do NBA. LeBron sitting on a way bigger check than music will ever let you get. And he don't have to worry about, you know, he got to worry about the shit you always got to worry about. Somebody breaking your house and all that, but he ain't got to worry about the extra. Like, these niggas itching to take your chain, itching to just prove a point for clout. Yeah, and I was just wondering, man, because you always, I was wondering because you always have a lot of jewelry on them. How is it, you know, with the game that's so saturated with, it's so offensive with snatching chain and the chain snatching wave, mm -hmm. like, do you ever, like, try to be like, well, I'm going to just tone it down a little bit or I'm going to move a little different? I be wanting to tell myself that, but then it's like, I ain't spend all this goddamn money to be <laughs> without out it. So I be telling myself, like, I'm gonna move smart, I know these niggas on, but I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't spend all these money on these guns. <laughs> and I'm buying guns that work, you know what I'm saying? I'm spending the money. I'm spending for the name and, and the bullets that's gonna hurt. So it's like, it's, I'm gonna have to take that chance because people gonna come for it, they know you got it. They, I might, they might try me without the chain. So it's like, I'm gonna have the chain on. So yeah, it, it, I thought about it, but I don't. I was in New York with it on. And I found out in New York, having a knife is like having it on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, nah, nah, and then <laughs> when you say you got it on me, nigga, when they say I got it on me, I'm like, oh, he got the pistol. That nigga put out a blade. And they, <laughs> and they get committed with their blades. Yeah, because they ain't playing with them guns out there. They ain't, nah. gun laws, you know what I'm saying? You nah, get caught with a gun, you already looking at time. But yeah, so I just make sure I just stay protected, move right. If you move right, you pretty much good. And I rap about, ain't no nigga gonna take my chain out of it, but I don't get all that hoo hoo dumb stuff. Like I really made myself a boss. And like when you get to a certain level, some shit don't even, you know what I'm saying? But I don't even go 
Like, oh, I'm in this nigga hood, wish he would take my chain. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that, but I ain't finna be like, hell no, nah, I ain't finna go because he didn't finna take my chain either. I believe it was, uh, I think Yellow Beezy did a um, DJ Small Eyes interview where they were asking him about as far as him wearing chains, where he's like, man, normally I don't even like wearing chains, mm. but it, it sometimes it take that for them to take him serious. Them as in just some of the people who don't know the rap game, they look at the person in the room and say, oh, you must be the rapper. Do you feel that's a stigma that that you kind of deal with whenever you let's say go without your chains compared yeah. to when you have them on and then that's why I say I wear them. I only bought the chain for rap. If I hooped, I then it probably wouldn't even have. I probably have on a hundred thousand dollars in the jewelry and you wouldn't even know it. it. Wouldn't have no diamonds in it. It's like the more you shine, the more they want you to shine. Yeah, it's, you know what I'm saying. It's like people didn't take me serious too about the chain. I'd rather not. I wish I didn't, cause now that I bought it, it's like you can't put it up now. You know what I'm saying? They would be like, where is that? Somebody must have. Nah. They must have took it or. <laughs> he or sold they, it. Or now uh, you drive. Uh, yeah. like, oh, he going broke. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, <laughs> and if you notice, it's like, it's needed to even stay real because like, I appreciate everybody who, who made it and they didn't have it. Like, Cowboy, when you watch his first video, they envy me. No chains. Authentic video. Like, raw. Yeah. Uh, Rod Wave. He rapped about being broke this that, but it's like now you iced out your man. It's like it's almost like now what you gonna rap about? You better not rap about being broke no more. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't. You know what I'm saying? Like even three, three made it, like, no money. And then you got the people who made it because they got money. You got the dolls. Yes. You got the Freddy, like they, they put in your face, and I respect that too. Now keep it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's like it's just like it's the it's the starter kit. It's the kit. So I want to give you time to shout out your jeweler, man. Uh, who who who, oh, who, who you the, fucking with? Well, I'm fucking with Jim City. Yeah. For sure, they made the beach chain, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then, nasty, um, nasty. you know what I'm saying? I went to Manhattan, they definitely keep the diamond quality. I got Icebox on the, on the, uh, the drill, but I'm definitely, I can't lie, you know what I'm saying? This jewelry game is just crazy, <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. just crazy. So the jewelers start uh, tripping on who That's even part to, of the market. <laughs> That's part of the marketing of your music, too, is like going to the top jewelers. But like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the Ice Champ next. You got the, uh, the, the BMP. Uh, uh, let them know as far as the game, man, BMP, man. Oh, yeah, you know, like I said, I made myself a ball, so, you know, I got my own clothing line yeah. that you see me repping with the, with oh, the yeah. Gucci. If I'm going to wear the Gucci, I got to wear me, too. And then, um, but, like, uh, BMP is Beast Mode Productions. That's the label, you know what I'm saying, with some, some dogs on it. Got some dogs on it. And then, uh, like, that young nigga back there, I ain't going to say his name because he don't even know his name yet. But... Uh, <laughs> He hard. He gonna have one of the hardest songs. Y'all gonna be interviewing him. He gonna he gonna have his own interview. Yeah, cause like, it's like the name he the name he got is really him. It's like somebody already got it. It's spelled different, but it's like we don't even wanna go that route. So, but yeah, just know he got he definitely got the hardest song though. So man, he, and you know, I was looking at your your fit and your your clothes, and it's like man, that shit hard right there. Like and it's ever, light. Right. It, you ever thought about just going hard with the clothes and saying fuck? Like, cause nigga, that's unique, and I never, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and it got a, it's got a lot it. of meaning to it, cause it's actually for like, uh, it's like for, it's, I made it for women, and then, to be honest with you, once I put the shirt out, dudes was asking for it, so I'm like, fuck, let me get us something too. I make it both, especially like how you can do like the little couple set. Yeah. But then, um, but it's like supposed to be like where you can be comfortable but still cool. Like, I got way more than this. It's like sweatsuits, nah, crop top, yeah. crop sweats for the ladies. They got the workout gear. And all that. So when you see body and they working out in it, and especially in a time where the world was like, we finna work out and get our health together. The vegan and all that. But it's like you can also wear it out. So say like I've been I hoop. So like I be out and I be dressed and I be too dressed and I can't go shoot on the court. But now I can be clean. I just got the real casual on. But I got, you know, you can be clean with the shirt and the shorts and stuff and still go work out right after. So That's it's really nice. It's really dope. Now I ain't gonna lie, cause the first time I seen it was on a female. And then, of course, you know, following you on the gram, of course, I seen the, the male clothes. Are definitely dope clothing line, you know what I'm saying? If those who haven't seen it, is you know, mm -hmm. my first pro my first thought was like, okay, body the beast, body working out. Mm -hmm. But just off top, just for drip, just on any occasion, is definitely something you know to uh, to definitely uh, look on. And to. I just feel like honestly, spending all that money on the design and them big names, like why my stuff can't be. And I got great quality. Like I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna come back up here and let y'all see. I let you put your foot in this slide. Yeah, Shit, yeah. I put on the Gucci slide, then it hurt my feet. My slide more comfortable <laughs> than the Gucci slide. Now that's real. You know, that's that's real. Honestly, be hurting. That's I got real. corns on my toes. I hooped, I ain't never got. That's when I wear the <laughs> red bottoms, it will be turned up my pinky toes. Man. About a designer shoe because I got some Alexander McQueen's and I'm talking about them hoes is garbage on the foot. Yeah, because it's like they don't care about that. Because you going because to be in that design, you're gonna hurt yourself to do it. Right. You're gonna, I seen a girl be like, who can't wait to get them red bottoms off their feet because they're they gonna turn their toes up, but they're gonna put that paint on just to let you know they're stepping in red bottoms. But it's like, 
I be like you say, I'm chilling right now, and I still feel like I can go anywhere and I'll be cool. It's just it's how you wear it. It's how you wear it. The company that you have when you wear it. I mean, long I really long as it ain't fake, it don't matter because you can make Reebok be like you see how Fila came back in. Not as fast. It's just basically a popularity contest, but like fashion is fashion. If you wear it right, it don't matter. I would love to see niggas. Bring I see the, people wear designer and the way they wearing it just ain't it. Nah, that's fact. I would love to see niggas bring Dada back. Right, that'll be. That'll be a move that I'm like. If they push it, <laughs> if they push it, right? Back. Cause Fubu can come back right now. If they get the clothes, I tried to buy some Fubu. That if they get facts. the clothes online where you can get to it, it's gonna come back. Nah, facts, facts. I gotta ask you, uh, with your, you know, with the hooping mentality, you know, seeing uh, someone like the Clippers up three one, just just letting it all go, you know, with the, you know, with one of the, you know, the, the MVP of last year's uh, finals. Mm. What are your thoughts when you see a three three one team? Do you blame the coach or do you blame the players, man? It's the players. Because it, it, if you got up three, the coach couldn't have been doing nothing too wrong. And if, even if he was, you'd be like, we're going to stick with what it's the players. It's like, how you even do that? That's fact. They got comfortable. I, I, I don't see, he did, he got, I don't know how you blame the coach. The Mavs did some shit like that, though. That, nah, We'd have been up bro, too we, old. We didn't had a, yeah, we. Then you get swept. <laughs> <laughs> to the heat. Story of our life. Was it the heat? It was to LeBron. It was, it was yeah, to LeBron. It was. It, it, it. But we had two championships, but we only got one in the whole thing. It's like, I don't be crazy. It'd be crazy because, like, Dallas sports teams are most be popular as hell, be having some of the great players. But we don't even really be winning. I had the little babies, like, yeah, the Cowboys was winning, but it was back before they probably even knew what a pass was. It was back when it was all running and, and all that because we ain't won in about 30 years. Man. But we still be America's team. America's team, man. And you got teams like the Patriots in one decade and past that caught us. And then you got teams like the the Steelers. Right. I was like, dang. It's like that movie. I you switch up. I've been wasting anyway. my time. Nah, for real. It's for real. For but real. We, 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 we got the best stadium. We got the we one of the most paid franchise. Like, why? Every year like, most set. <laughs> yeah, like we ain't the Lakers. Nigga. <laughs> for real. So you know, we do have one of the throw this Dallas uh, one of the throw this basketball stories that I've seen, uh, in which there was a young man, um, I believe he was at Oak Cliff. I forget what he was out of, but he was uh, like 23, 24 years old and went back to play high school basketball. Mm. Was that Pinkston? That was. Uh, yeah, it was the Cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know, man. Mm. W- would you say your passion for basketball would have ran to the point where you go back? Yeah, at, if that at, nigga would have <laughs> showed me how he could have got done. If I was in a situation where it could have got hey, but I would have averaged, he was. He, I would have been. He said he was dude. averaging like twenty some a game. Yeah, that was light. On young That's niggas. too light. I would have been averaging forty, <laughs> a one and done. Get me out of here, nigga. <laughs> Get me to college. Get me out of here. He said one and done. He said ain't no. We ain't going Man, no three. Goddamn. You average forty, especially if I was twenty three. I know what I would have did to them <laughs> niggas. So hey, yeah, I would have averaged forty, See, I think ten games, and then set out. And he, then just he went back to JV, college. you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you went back too far, bro. You got. Oh, he went back to JV. He went back to JV. He wasn't playing senior, bro. Yeah, he I mean, he wasn't never even good. <laughs> he should just like just step went to the wreck. <laughs> Nigga, I can't be 23. He had a college plan though. He had a college plan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he said we've been one and done. He said we would not. I went back, started my senior year, job 40, got up out of there. Nigga, that's real, man. Uh, you know we look at situations like. You know what's going on right now with Cardi B and Offset, man. And I'm starting to ask: Can you, as an artist, find love in the same industry? You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you could find that one within the same industry and make it work? Yeah. While you at the height of your both of y'all's careers. I mean, making it work gonna do a lot of compromising, cause That's cheating true. gonna happen. I ain't, just, <laughs> how many faithful people you? How many faithful niggas you know? Man, let me count. Hand is and that's probably one you ain't caught. <laughs> the, the shit he ain't told know. you about. That's why I be trying to tell you. The relationship is just like, this is how this bond. We know what it is. You don't cheat. Let me have my little passes. And <laughs> right, we right, get it. Right. You yeah, because you know, when women cheat, it's with emotions. Yeah, we it's cheat, like, it's yeah. like, all right, bye. I mean, it was good. I might double back one time, but I ain't tripping. Yeah, that's real. So women cheat, she got, they got the soul, heart. <laughs> the shit that matter, cause I rather have a heart. The, the, the holy trinity. Now <laughs> nah, that's facts. Have you ever been caught up in a situation, man, where uh, you know, you know, these IG models, these these females love to snap pictures and catch you while you sleep, catch you lacking, you know, when they ain't supposed to be pulling no phones out. Yeah, Has that it's just luckily I'm single. There you go. So, but now even if you single, I still don't want to be like, eh, you know, you don't need to be all up in the phone when, when I'm sleep. Has that happened to you where you wake up and you see like, oh, damn, I see you posting me. I see you going wild. Or you don't mind. You don't I mind. I mean, me. I pretty much be letting them know what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't even, and I don't even, I don't, I just don't trust, I be seeing some shit. So I don't even, I damn near sleep 
after they sleep and then wake up when they wake up. You move, I move. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> that, that's facts, though. I would say as far as um, regarding, you know, just relationships in the music business, is there anyone that if you was, you know, to be able to uh, shoot a shot at, uh, fall down, you know, and everything go the way it's supposed to go, is there anybody that you got your eye on? Well, now that I done got older and she done got older oh, and she ain't age well, it was Lisa Ray coming up because Players Woo! Club was Woo! what I used to like, like before Booty talking all that, I used to go to Players Club. Nigga. So that seems like you ready. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a song. Everybody know, no. Yeah. And Diamond <laughs> had me. So Lisa Ray had me so since that. Then she got on all of us. But now it's not her no more. But it's like, now who can I? I mean, Cardi was, I don't know how I'll say let that go. Oh, you know what? I'll take for all around women, I'll take Kylie. Oh, uh, for who? Kylie Jenner. Oh, nigga, you all around like you mean money wise? I'm talking, well, it's not just, just money. I, mean, I said yeah, all, all around. around. God, yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah. But yeah, money is a part. And then everything. Huh? She got a whole body. Uh, Kim? Right about now, yeah. Because let's just we got longevity because she's younger. Two, she ain't been around, so ain't no nigga gonna have a song talking about I hit it first. Like Ray J, she, at least she dated niggas with, like, she wouldn't date a Ray J. Right. Kim lost her, she devalued herself when she did that. And then, um, I feel like that bought, turned her up. It was like him plus the Reggie Bushes, plus the TV show, plus the whoever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it, it didn't really turn her up. She was turned. She really was already turned. It just let niggas know, like, oh shit, she like us. And then they started going in there. Kanye West probably would have been the best turn up she could have did. She's like doing right. what her daddy do now. Now she could be, you know what I'm saying? She freeing niggas who ain't free like her daddy did. Straight so up. She way more of a boss than she ever would have been. Yeah, and her net worth is way more high than it's ever been. Yeah, so that's the real turn up. She got popular because he went to the social media with it. But she been had all them followers and stuff. The show was putting them on. That's true. Last season she of the Kylie show. passed her. Cause she dated the right nigga, so nah, he didn't turn up right. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. Now you've you've know you've you've been a veteran in the strip clubs, man. Not only in Dallas, but all around, man, all over, mm -hmm. man. You you know you didn't you didn't have some times, man. What's the throw this time that you would say you've had, and where was it at? How did it go down? Okay, so whew, yeah, I've been around the world, seen every <laughs> type of girl. Nick. So I will say, I walked into Magic City on Monday, and I was like. Cause you know Atlanta, it just be like black girl, big old booties, the same old. Yeah. Now, Magic City had them, all types, and they was really working. They were really hitting the pole, really moving. I was mm. like, damn, mm. like really hitting the pole. Like I still remember this girl. I don't even know her name, and I was like, God, <laughs> no. They really, yeah. I'm talking about. I mean, cause you know they travel. Yeah. So they girls go, travel yeah. there, and then they probably make it home cause it's so much money. But Magic City had some nice ones, and then, man, exposure was going up. Way back in the day, but oh, that yeah, when I was nah, so first. young, I ain't yeah. even yeah. stepped foot yeah. in the strip club. Yeah. That was yeah, the yeah. shit I ain't never. I'm like, how that whole get yeah, turned nah, down? Yeah, for real. I'm like, how that gets closed down? Nigga. Um, <laughs> but damn, like right now, best strip club. I ain't gonna lie, I went to L.A. Mm. L.A. They be having nice quality. Oh yeah, nah, nice they have quality. a range in L.A. Yeah, I, nice I'm gonna have to go. If I had to go, it would be like where I go on that Monday. That shit, A A A O D. I ain't gonna lie. AOD, I think it's called a Ace I, of Diamonds. I was in uh, I was in Compton one time. I went to a hole in the wall, like mm -hmm. like a, just a chicken shack. Two strip clubs across the street. It was uh, somewhere uh, in Compton. I think it was in Inglewood. Mm -hmm. Man, it was some of the baddest, most exotics. And, I mean, I don't know if it was just LA. I'm like, damn, you working here? Like the yeah. fuck? I'm I ain't like, gonna lie. Yeah, ain't gonna lie. A hole in the wall. Cause I was in Rhode Island in a little small that club. But like I say, it was like if it was 20, only 20, not 100 girls, just 20. All 20 of them motherfuckers could have got it. <laughs> nah, so man. it was like. And that's Rhode Island. Yeah. You like, what the fuck I'm doing in Rhode Island? Nigga. It was <laughs> All <laughs> I know from Rhode Island is what? Me, myself, and Irene? You with hey. uh Jim. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all <laughs> nigga know. That but now, nah, yeah, so yeah. Nah, you about to send some rappers up there right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, they gonna they gonna find their baby mama out there. That's real. <laughs> yeah, that's Cause real. Rhode Island. Hey, 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 I mean, I can tell you where not to go for looking for some quality girls. Yeah. No, I ain't going to Chicago looking for no decent ass girl in the strip club. I ain't going to Detroit. Damn. I ain't going to, oh yeah, New York. I gotta go to Scarlet's. I never Scarlet's, been. Scarlet's, yeah, But yeah. when I follow their page on Instagram, they be, <laughs> they, be uh, they be in that thing. Nah, for real. All right, and just to uh, touch on, you know, as far as the music you got out now and the music that's coming up, man, you got, you know, a track out, Beast Mode, fucking crazy. 
Uh, got a song out with Lil CJ, man. It's fucking going crazy right oh, now. Um, as far as the music that's out and the music that's coming, man, I want you to go ahead and touch on some of the uh, music that some of the fans at home should be trying to tune into and uh, the album you got coming out. Coming All right, out. well, I got one coming out September 28th, my grandma's birthday. And then, so, like, I don't know when this interview going to get out. But y'all soon. probably going to either be late or on time. Yeah. <laughs> Look for it. And that one, that one hard. That you got was a name for it? The uh, name it, of the album? Oh yeah, all my albums gonna be. Cause I really feel like every beauty need a beast, there and I'm go. a beast. So every beautiful girl need me. There you go. And so, uh, you know, it's the beauty and the beast play. Yeah, and I right. never seen the cartoon. And then, <laughs> damn, um, bro, you never, you never want nah, to I've watch been, that. I've been educating myself on it. I just really feel like every beauty need a beast. It's like the beauty. I heard of beauty and the beast. I never really watched the cartoon. The concept. I watch this shit like Rugrats, and all that. I wasn't watching those cartoons. Bro, that's like Disney money. <laughs> yeah, but that was like, yeah. But yeah, that was like he, it was too. It was yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> I I just never. I watched like the watch some harder. Yeah, shit. I watch. Yeah, I don't know. I watch Aladdin or something if you want me. But like not that. Yeah. But like now I get into it. They they making it more like they got a new one came out. Like it yeah, was more real. real. Yeah, the real. So I'm gonna go watch that one and then I'm gonna know. Cause somebody told me like cause my new chain we was going over something. It's being made and then uh, shout out to Lewis. Yeah. And he was like, you know, he he was a man. He turned to a beast. And I'm like, you sure that's that same cartoon? Kind of like, that's a frog turned to a prince. And he's like, no, nah, this one, he was a man. He turned to a beast. That's why he's always grouchy, because he didn't like the way he looked or something. I'm like, oh shit, yo, there we go. Really, no, he got, he was, a, he was an arrogant king, an arrogant rich man, and he got man. cursed. With, and that's why he, he was a beast, because he was And so then arrogant. the girl came, got him back right. Got him back and right, then, and broke the curse. Yeah, see, I was like, he's a beast. I used to see him, I seen, like I say, if I seen the little glimpses of it, or if, you know, like, they put it, it'd be like, damn, he was hard on the bitch. You probably, yeah, and I'm like, hard. okay. Yeah. He was hard on the bitch. You probably, yeah. see, look, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, you probably need to get him, like, get it, like, right there on the side, like, kneeling down or something. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm, the next one, the next one gonna be a fool. But then. I ain't gonna lie, I would love to see a prequel where the beast was a pimp. Like before Bell before Bell pulled oh, yeah. up. <laughs> but see, now it would have been cool, but with all this sex trafficking and where our girls going missing, they gonna they gonna spend that shit and make it be the worst shit ever. Yeah. Man, that shit crazy. As fuck. And then so I got that album, I got another one coming where it's gonna be a whole bunch of features. Cause I my first one I ain't really had none. This one I had a couple, like on that album too. Oh, back to the album. Uh, you know, you got the little CJ, you got Cincy Miley, you got Hood Fame, Get Money, Lil' Runny. And he wanted to Hardy spitters to me, get my little running. I, I, I see my, yeah, he, he, he really up. It's just now he go to that up, up level. It's like he's, he still stepped on, he be, he spit on everything I've seen him on. I got some with Sauce Walker, he said, speaking of pimps, which I don't think he pimping no more, but Sauce Walker, but well, he is, just cyberly. Uh, I mean, I'm only saying that because he said it. I just saw him make a post. I don't do all that. He, he literally said he was cyber pimping. Uh, Sauce Walker got Sada Baby. I ain't put that on this tape, it's on the next one. Uh, uh, you know, Move was here, we did some that whole hard. Bankroll Freddy. It's Mo, it's Mo. We got Rich Homie Quant. I got more shit, like, these niggas be really my partners, so it'd be like, oh, we really be vibe, or we be cool. You know, even if we ain't partners, we be cool. I'm gonna do one with OT, you know what I'm saying? OT Genesis, you know what I'm saying? That walk, that, that crib walking in. Nigga. All that shit. That's gonna be. T- is there somebody that you want to work with that you haven't yet? Um, that you just a fan of their music, fan of their platform? Lil Wayne. I feel like I made yeah. if I work with Wayne. I, I know Lil Baby is aesthetic, but now besides going that big, uh, who I ain't work with that I want to work with? Uh, well, I think we supposed to work too. We are gonna do something. She come here Friday, Mulatto. I I fuck with her like as female rappers. I fuck with her like she keep it like femaley, yeah. but then still talk her shit. She don't get like some girls either go overboard. They either rap too manly or rap about too much nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. how can I even like well, I don't want to hear that come from you and you ain't really doing it. Then some girls who be like too girly where they voice be annoying like yeah, yeah, yeah. She like right in between. Nah, so right I when I first her heard her, her music. first time I said yeah she a star. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she got it. Yeah. You got any shout outs? Uh, but shout out to everybody on the label. I don't want to give a lot of people don't want to know their name because I say we be in the streets with it. I don't want to give everybody name out. And shit. Right. He don't have a name, but shout out, you know, we got Camo, John Doe. If y'all ain't heard of John Doe, John Doe hard. Yeah, he hard. Uh, Lil CJ Slash, look, uh, BMP Cash. Um, man, I knew that was my phone. Man, I need to answer that, but don't answer that. Don't answer that right now. <laughs> the kind that. Yeah, the kind that motherfucker. But yeah, uh, 
Shout out Mozzie. You know, he up here. Mozzie be, he be late nights. You know, I be in that studio Mozzie. late night, and he's sitting there with me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mozzie. He be trying to come morning. around with. Huh? I was in here till the morning. Yeah, we, I just fell asleep in this motherfucker. I mean, he was recording CJ, but I was fell asleep. Matter of fact, I be, he fall asleep. <laughs> I be like, boy, I gotta learn how to engineer. He be, but, but you know why I shout him out, though? Because he be, I be like, my, yo, 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 hey, say it again. Nah, say hey, it again. Hey, that nigga, hey. He put in hella hours, man. So hey, I gotta say, hey, for real. And it's funny because you gotta reset each time you know artists come in. Like you gotta reset. But hey, that nigga's in here working. Nah, he try, and the fact answer. that he even in there, it's hard to even get a nigga to say, hey, I'm being with you at <laughs> six o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? One of so the talented, he he good most talented. When it's up, it. it's up. He know it's up. It's stuff. Uh, shout out Rose. Rose got a hard son. My nigga, he's in jail, You know, hopefully I finally get my teeth done. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Really, I just really fuck with everybody. Everybody that fuck with me, they know I fuck with them because I'm gonna show you that I fuck with. I just shout out to shout out to them. I can't even really say their name because I can't think of it right now coming from this camera, and I'm camera shy, and so you be forgetting shit. You like, damn, I should shout them out. But yeah, you know, shout out God, Lord, my mama, grandma. Got to get the important people. Like, I mean, everybody important to me. So it's like, shout out to everybody that fuck with me. And they know who they is. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much yeah, that. Man. You know who you. You know if it's before the music. Through the music, after music, whatever, I fuck with you if you fuck with me. And then for if they need to get in contact with you for any bookings or features, how would they do that? Uh shit, you know, I ain't got no manager. I'm the head, so G just call me. <laughs> you booking a feature, you can DM me. I check my DMs, even if you hit that little request, if I don't follow you or whatever. Uh the email is on my page. My Instagram is body the beast. B-O-D-Y-T-H-E Beast. B-E-A-S-T, in case you don't know how to spell it. Uh Man, body man, you as a motherfucking treat, my nigga, man. We fucking with everything we doing. We fucking with your campaign. Music on fire, visions on fire, man. You really turning the city up, brother. You all real life streets. All right, appreciate it. All right, I forgot. Shout out Paint. Nick came through. Show love. He, he been he been fucking with music mode. Uh, I shout out producer YSK. He in Virginia. Shout out uh, Jade on the track. Because these niggas who be sending me beats, they fuck with the music, genuinely. Uh, shout out Camo No Flies, because he came through, got a nigga voice right, came through, got, helped me with the, the, everything. Uh, I told you there's going to be people I forgot. I'm glad y'all let me do this. Uh, shout out Ash. She, I, I put her through everything, and she still make it come through. It's still people who I'm forgetting, and it's still shout out to you. I might make them do a take three if I remember before I get off. Uh, uh, shout out Shamar. Who I'm shouting out Shamar for? He's still Shamar. my nigga, so it's still shout out to Shamar. <laughs> but Shamar, 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 Shamar need to do better. Shamar need to do better. Uh, who, else, who else be staying up with me, uh, engineering my music? I gotta get it. Y'all can speed it up and crop it to make it faster. Uh, yeah, shout out Hit That. Hit That fucking with me more than he had ever had. I really, really shout out Hit That. I was gonna actually hit that. I was gonna wear your shit, and I was thinking, like, damn, I got cold line. I look stupid. Yeah, I, I look stupid saying, like, I'm putting on for my other nigga. And if this video go viral, it's like, damn, I could have had my shit on. But if I could have put both of them on, I would have. Uh, but shout out to that Hidalgo. Shout out to Hidalgo. So it's still right there. Uh, he definitely doing his thing. And then now, just shout out to anybody who just been fucking with me and everything. Like 2 4 come on with it. Junior Baby, come on with it. Fuck with me. Uh, we locked in, but just go ahead and start fucking with me. Make the city fuck with me. Uh, shit, man. It's so much. I be doing so much. I know it's going to be somebody I miss, but that's it. And you know, I can say, anybody that's fucking with me genuinely, it's gonna be more interviews because after this I'm going yeah, up. I swear to God, I'm going like, up. It's gonna be more interviews. You could be a segment like you come back like next week and then just be like and shout out. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I come back next. I'm gonna. I ain't gonna forget you. Or right, just check my Instagram when we drop this. I'm gonna be like, hey, when I post it, I'm like, and also shout out to you. Cause I know I'm forgetting some people, and it's a lot of people that I don't even want to just forget about. But for those people for sure, they on my mind. They've been really looking out lately. So it's like you know what I'm saying? If you was before, just stay relevant, make it known, just do little small things. If I, if I ain't saying your name, cause everything count, cause, but I still fuck with you. All right, now you can cut it. <laughs>